What's up guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you three simple steps to fix G-Sync issues with FreeSync monitor, like flickering, freezing, or screen tearing. So let's go. So the very first step is enabling vSync in NVIDIA control panel guys. Simply right click on your desktop, click on NVIDIA control panel. And here if you click on manage settings, you should see this two tabs here, global settings and program settings. So by default, global settings is selected. Scroll down and here you should see the vSync vertical sync option. Click on it, turn it on by clicking on the drop down. You can do this under global settings this is as a whole. If you'd like to do this for a specific game, you can use this program settings tab. Click on it, click on add and click on browse here so that you can navigate to the specific game. So here's the game. Click on the exe file, click on open. All right. So the game is selected. Now do the same thing. Scroll down, select vSync that is vertical sync. Click on the drop down and click on on. Turn this on. This is specifically for this game guys all right and after turning vsync on click on apply all right i'm not doing it it's for you guys so click on apply and you're done and step two again uh, you'll have to be doing this in nvidia control panel guys there are three things that you'll have to check in uh, step two the first one is image sharpening again in nvidia control panel click on manage settings and here you should find image sharpening all right click on the drop down and turn it on you can also select this GPU scaling. This is done to increase the performance, guys. All right. GPU scaling will try to render in low resolution and increase performance. OK, so turn it on and select GPU scaling and click on OK. That's for you guys. And the second one that you'll have to check is the low latency mode, guys. The same thing that you'll have to be doing. Click on the drop down and turn it on. The low latency mode must be turned on. This again can be performed under global settings or for a specific game. As I mentioned in the first step, click on program settings and do this for a specific game. All right. All you have to do is turn on image sharpening and enable GPU scaling and then turn on low latency mode. After doing these two things, click on apply and restart your PC, right? Restart your PC and try running the game and uh, see if the issue is resolved. If it's still not now, again, under this, you'll have to click on adjust desktop size and position all right and here under perform scaling on there is a drop down here by default display is selected what you have to do is click on the drop down and select gpu perform scaling on must be gpu all right change it to gpu from display okay so then click on apply and then you're done that's step two and step three is in game guys you have to go to the game settings I'm going to show you in Assassin's Creed Origins. If you click on options under display, there are two things that you have to change here. One is vSync. It's turned off. Turn it on. You can also go for adaptive. I would suggest you stick to on. Turn on vSync. And then the second thing that you'll have to do is turn on the FPS limit, guys. By default, it's off. You can go up to 90 FPS, but I would suggest you stick to 45 or 60 FPS. All right, this would be the best FPS limit. You can turn this on, uh, put a limit to FPS and then turning on vSync avoids flickering or screen tearing, all right? So that's all about this simple video, guys. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, make sure to leave a like and hit that subscribe button. And do not forget to turn on the notification. Thank you so much for watching. Gamers app out.